Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys an unboxing video today. And this is a random drop that ended up happening on Nike.com that was totally unexpected. Um, pretty crazy actually. And, and it happened midday, and I don't remember what day this actually happened, but it happened midday one day and it just came up. So it was an online raffle for an hour that it was open. So you could have entered uh, to, to purchase these. And it's kind of interesting and it brings me to a good topic, I guess, while we... Uh, unbox this video and that's the online raffle system uh, that Nike is now going with which is different than uh, the way it was before and what I mean by that is you have to um, put in your credit card information and then submit for the raffle in order to actually uh, get up the the raffle and I think that's why I probably lucked out and got these shoes right here because people got scared they're they're people are afraid of commitment man but I'm all in obviously with my sneakers uh, a little too much uh, all in, unfortunately, but uh, but it was one of those things where I entered the raffle and I put the money down. A lot of people thought they had to pay two fifty for the raffle, which is a box price right here, as you can see, Kobe Ten Elite Low PRM, and it is the HTM. I didn't know there was a special box. It's pretty rad, uh, an HTM box right here, and uh, but basically I won the raffle online. Like I just randomly got an email that said, "Hey, you got this, the the kicks," and I was like, "Damn, that's." Really, really uh, dope. And check that out. There's an HTM with the Kobe logo on the wrapping paper. And, um, yeah. All right. These kind of have like a space jammy sort of look to them. One thing that I didn't really realize is the, the accents of blue. Um, I, for some reason, thought they were accents of green. But this pair, this HTM version, um, has that blue accent. So these are what I ended up getting, the HTM. Whoa, this is crazy. Actually, one thing I didn't know... Uh, was the HTM uh, lace locks look at these things and it says HTM on them as you can see right there And they're they're really heavy um, Little lace lock. That's friggin pimp um, Kobe logo on the insole kind of nice. Actually, that's a really nice logo on the insole It's like thicker and like hard rubber on the insole uh, then you have the The X back here, and then you can see the blue uh, zoom underneath that right down here and I really like the, the Kobe 10 tracks, and I'm really curious to see the Kobe 11 and to see um, if I'm going to like the kind of the new, like, soul that they ended up having. I don't know the, the drop-in soul. Sometimes they're, they're a hit or a miss, uh, depending on uh, how you look at it. But I uh, have the uh, the Flyknit upper, and this coloring of the Flyknit is super, super nice. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about the hits of blue. I personally think, it, I mean, at first I thought it would be dope kind of without it, but actually it does... Um, add a little bit of a nice little hit to the shoe, especially with all the additional accents. So there's a Kobe logo, it looks like. Uh, and then also has the uh, the HTM on the back tab. So that is a little different uh, from the regular Kobe Elites as well. So, um, yeah, man, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. How do you guys feel about the new online raffle approach where you have to actually pay uh, before you play? And you have to um, put in your credit card information. That way, if you are chosen, you don't have the option to just drop it and say no nah, just kidding i don't want these uh you actually just have to make the purchase um i think it's kind of cool as long as i mean i think it can deter um, people to enter a raffle without um like people that are not serious about it especially if there's a bot out there that can just go through and, and send in like 100 emails or whatever um and and entries then you'd have to have like 100 like different accounts asso associated with all of those uh with with money and stuff so um, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just figured I'd show you guys that. Uh, and uh, I'm really happy with the fact that I was actually able to win and, uh, and actually get a pair for the first time. Like, I don't I don't usually win raffles too often. So uh, when I do, I'm very happy. But anyway, that's uh, it. Did anybody else cop these or not? Leave a comment, let me know. And uh, we'll catch you guys with some more videos soon. Peace, guys.